Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Through Mummy's Eyes. Today's video is going to be segment one in my Finding My Joy series. Now, if you haven't seen my introduction, I will link that up above for you to view. And um, this segment is, re I'm really excited about this segment because it was one that I was really looking forward to doing. And this is all about your clothing. Um, not only your clothing, I'd say also your accessories, like your belts, your scarves, um, all those kind of things, your things that you use on a daily basis. Now, I was very nervous about, you know, decluttering and purging a lot of my items because a lot of them hold is history. A lot of them are, you know, from different times in my life and they're not just a piece of clothing to me. But having said that, a lot of them were from a very long time ago. So what I did is I basically followed the method, which was sort of divided. I, first of all, I took everything out of my closets. Now you can see my closets behind me right here. Um, we have four, James has two, and I have two. So, oh, and I'll just add on this note. During this whole process, I only did my things. But I will tell you what James did um, at the end of this video. So I, I, mean, I just focused on my clothing right now. Um, so I have these two closets right back here, and I also have a dresser, which I will go through with you guys, which doesn't have clothing in it. Um, it has a whole bunch of accessories and, you know, hair dryers and all that kind of stuff. So what I say, what, excuse me, what I did was I took everything out and I put it all on my bed. And I do have footage of this. I do have photos. So I will either insert them now or I'll insert them at the end of this video so you guys can kind of take a look at you know, uh, what was going on, all the chaos that was going on in my bedroom. Let me tell you, it was, it was pretty overwhelming when I looked at all of it. Um, you know, I had, I had 11 gray sweaters. I mean, that's just sort of a little, a little view for you guys. It was, it was very overwhelming, but I took everything out and I really held each one of those items and I thought if I needed it, I thought if it sparked any joy, I thought, do I wear this? You know, am I comfortable in this? Is this is something like, is this a piece of clothing that when I wake up in the morning, I'm thinking I want to wear that. And to be honest, a lot of it, a lot of the answers I had were no. So basically what I did was I took all my clothing, as I said, laid it all out on my bed and I divided everything into four piles. So the first pile was of things that I wanted to keep. And that pile did get smaller throughout the whole procedure. And then the second pile was of things I wanted to donate um, or give to charity or give to a friend. And the third pile was of things that I was going to try and sell. And these had to be in really good condition. And then the fourth pile was of things I was just going to basically throw out or disregard. Or in my case, I did make some of my shirts into clothing rags, into like dish rags. Um, so once they were kind of divided into the four piles, immediately what I did was bag everything up for charity and get it out of the room. Then... I got everything that I was going to sell and I actually have a bin that I sell things, like I, I'll put everything in that and then I'll photograph them and then sell things on Facebook or on local groups, that kind of stuff. And then the third pile, I took everything that I was going to throw away and I threw it away. So now I just had one pile and you know, it was a lot, it was a lot more calming because I could just focus on this pile. And I honestly believe in that rule that if you have not worn it in six to 12 months, get rid of it because you're not gonna wear it. So now I was dealing with this one pile and I wanted to shape my closet in a way that worked for me. I did, you will see when I show you my closet, um, I don't have drawers, I kind of have cubby holes. So I did fold all the clothes the proper Conmarie way of folding them but it just didn't work for me because these cubby holes are kind of deep and they go back. I couldn't really see at full view. Now I'm just, I'm like learning how my new closet is working. So anyway, that's what works for me. But I did cut down on a lot, um, especially shoes too. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you guys how I've organized my closet. And then I'll probably do a little check-in and then afterwards I'm gonna show you guys how I organized my accessory dresser. Okay guys, so this is my first closet. So let's start up at the top here. 
Now this whole shelf used to be completely full of clothing. And now, as you can see, I have narrowed it down completely. Now, I have put all my gym stuff <laughs> way far up there so I don't have to reach it. No, I've put all my gym stuff together there. Now, I have put my shoes somewhere else, but for me, that works because I can see it and I can see all my gym items that are there and my trainers, and I know, you know, that's what it is, that section there. Then over here, I have two pairs of shorts and a skirt. That is my summer clothing at the moment. Now my wardrobe tends to be sort of a year round wardrobe, but specifically shorts and stuff. I got rid of about 12 pairs of shorts and I narrowed it down to two. They're both the same color, but they fit differently and that works for me. Now onto my tops. I wanted to get all the same hangers. So we already had the white wire hangers in our house. Um, so I just, basically gave them a little clean and put everything here. So you can see I have my blazers all here. Getting rid of blazers were difficult for me. I no longer work in the office though, so I really had to sort of pick the casual ones with a couple dinner ones, you know, to wear out. Um, and just the other ones I have decided to sell. My shirts, I've got just, you know, my light blue shirt and a flannel. So, you know, as a Canadian, I have to have a flannel. Um, and then a couple of my polos, and then these are my cardigans hanging up with special little things for a wedding at the back. Um, so I've really narrowed it down. There are not many items there at all. And it's just great because in the morning I look at it and I can think, yep, I know exactly what shirt I wanna wear. And I'm not overwhelmed anymore with choice. Moving on down here. I have my dresses. Now, as I said, I have put all my summer dresses as well as my winter dresses here. Because to be honest, even in the winter, I do wear some of my summer dresses. I just pair, uh, pair them with tights. So I only have a couple here. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I've got a couple maxis, which I've hung over there. I will tell you this, for example, this dress no longer fits me. But it's a goal for me to get into that dress. So that's why I hung on to that. Moving on over here are all my trousers. Um, with, I will be honest, I think I've got two pairs in the wash right now. So those are all of them there. Again, I'm not overwhelmed with choice whatsoever. And I was deciding what to do with the bottom of the closet, but as you can see, it's just to me, the whole process is you don't need to fill everything up. Space is good. Um, so I'm really pleased with how this first closet turned out. So let's go ahead and look at the second closet. Right. At the top up there, I have my handbags. Now, I only have about, I'd say six, seven handbags now. I had about 20. So for me, that was a really, really good process of getting rid of all those. It just feels so much better. I mean, I did not need, you know, 12 brown handbags. How often do I use those? And then my scarves. I've hung my scarves here. It brings a bit of color, brings a bit of light. I really enjoy looking at them. And it's just so much easier to pair them with an outfit now because I'm just, I'm not spoiled for choice. And these are my favorite ones. These are all ones that spark joy for me. I then have three baskets. Oh, and my one belt. <laughs> I then have three baskets. I have my socks in there. I have my undergarments in there. And then in here, I actually have a little container. This is the place that I found it to be. I know it's, it might seem a little bit funny hiding that in there, but these are my daily. I use these every single day. So I've just popped them in there. You can't even really see them. And then I have my pajamas behind there. So for me, that system works. You know, it sparks joy looking at it. It's nice and clean and fresh. Then down here, I have my shirts and my sweaters. So as you can see, I did not fold them the Conmarie way, but I folded them in a way that sparks joy for me and it also is just easy for me to go and grab them. So as you can see, like I said, the cubbies do go quite deep. So I might try and find an insert. If you have any suggestions, please do feel free to comment down below. Um, and then that way I might be able to fold my close the KonMari method. And then I just have my shoes. You can see I've got very grubby trainers at the moment. So I've got my flats there and then I've got my ankle boots and then I have three pairs of trainers and at the back I have a pair of sandals. So I'm very pleased with how all this turned out. Looking at it in the morning, this is my overview. And honestly, it brings me such joy because I just have a few things to choose from, but I know the outfits that I like 
you know, and I'm, I'm just really pleased with it. Okay, guys, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share with you my dresser. I'm going to show you the three drawers that I have, which I use mostly things every day from it. Um, and I've really narrowed it down. This to me was a really, really good process. I really enjoyed this because I really went through all my makeup and all my accessories and I did not use about 80% of that stuff. So just getting rid of it and getting containers that fit, that worked well, it was just, I loved it. This was probably my favorite part was doing the accessories. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I did. Okay, this is just a little overview of my dresser here. It was passed down to me from my mother-in-law. Over here, I just have my little brushes. I went through each brush making sure that I actually did use it properly. And then I just have some flowers. And then this is just a little jewelry box that my father gave to me. So now I will show you. In drawer number one, this is how I've done my accessories. So here are my necklaces. I have them laid out in this box. By the way, these boxes are just my birch box. Um, boxes just repurposed basically, um, in case you were wondering. So here are my necklaces. I then have my perfume. I have my special little Tiffany's jewelry kept in here. This is my everyday makeup use. And then these are like my everyday makeup as well, um, which I've just put in a little container there. Um, and then tissues. So again, it's just really clutter free and I can sit here and I can open this up and I know I use these things every day and they're right there in front of me. Moving on down. This is all my nail polish storage, um, along with some little cotton pads and remover there. I then have a candle, which I've just placed here because sometimes I do put a candle up on the top. Um, my contact lenses and as well as my tablets, which I use every, like I have, I use these every single day. So it was nice just to have them in a container here. These containers, by the way, are fantastic. I will try and link them down below. They are the Ikea um, containers. I use them for my children as well. They are so fantastic. This is um, just some face masks that my sister-in-law gave to me. And then any of my free samples from Birchbox, I just keep them in here because I didn't want a bunch of little free samples all over the place. Now this, I absolutely love this drawer. You can tell this is a very old piece of furniture. So I have all my hair stuff here. So I've got my brush, dry shampoo, and hairspray. I then, this took forever to do. I had about, I don't even know what you call these, like hair, hair clippy things. I had about, I think, I'm not kidding you guys, I think it was like 32 of these. I don't know. I was like the crazy, the crazy clip lady. Oh, geez. I mean, what was I thinking? Anyway. Um, and then I have this little thing of um, bobby pins, which I keep there. And I have about four elastics because that's all you need. I then have my hair straightener, um, my curling. Oh, by the way, I had four hair straighteners. So... <laughs> I've narrowed that down to two. Um, my curling iron and my hair dryer. And this is just the little mat that I put on for it. So there you go. You can see it is simple. It is functional. And it works for me. So guys, I hope you liked this first segment of my clothing. The next segment I will be doing and filming for you guys will be books. Which I'm going to admit I'm a little bit nervous about. But I figure I have conquered my clothing and my accessories. Um, by the way, what I was going to tell you is that James has seen how like happy I've been in the mornings when it comes to choosing my clothes and just how clutter free my stuff is. So he is going to try and do his clothes. Which let me tell you, those <laughs> his closet like barely shuts. He has a lot of old rugby tops in there. So if he can do it and I can do it, you guys can definitely do it. So thank you so much for watching this segment. I hope you guys are enjoying this journey that I'm doing at the moment. It's very new to me. I'm enjoying it very much though. It is hard work, um, but it's rewarding. It's really, really rewarding. So again, I will link Janine's channel down below. She is the lady, the special lady who is helping me out. She is a Comrie consultant and she has been fantastic throughout this whole procedure, answering every question I have or just if I get down about things or anything, she's been there. Um, and I will also link my Comrie playlist, um, which is growing. So thank you so much guys for tuning in and watching and I will see you in the next segment. Bye everyone.